Hi everyone, my name is Leah and welcome to the kitchen. We're continuing on celebration of the Christmas holiday season. And if you followed me over the past few years on my cooking channel, you notice a common theme around the holiday season. I like to make a lot of recipes with red velvet. I've made red velvet cookies in the Christmas cookie marathon, red velvet pancakes, and red velvet cake, a family recipe. Well, in this week's video, we're going to be making red velvet pudding pie with a homemade Oreo cookie crust. Let's get started. For this recipe, to make your Oreo cookie crust, you'll need regular Oreos, of course, and then some butter. And then for the rest of the pudding pie, we have some sugar, vanilla extract, more butter, cornstarch, cocoa powder, of course, plenty of red food coloring, eggs, milk, heavy whipping cream, and some buttermilk. Begin by preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Add 22 to 24 regular Oreo sandwich cookies to a food processor. Attach the lid, and then begin to pulse the food processor to make the cookies crumble. Remove the lid from the bowl when the cookies are in fine crumbs. Add four tablespoons of butter to a microwave safe bowl, then use a microwave to melt the butter. Pour in all the Oreo cookie crumbs to the melted butter. Stir to combine the cookie crumbs with the melted butter until the crumbs are fully moistened. Next, pour the butter and crumb mixture into a 9 inch round pie dish. Use the back of a spoon to press down on the crust making it smooth and compact across the bottom and forming a side as well. Bake the cookie crust in the oven for 11 minutes. Remove the cookie crust from the oven and allow it to cool completely. Pour one and a half cups of whole milk into a large saucepan. Next, pour in one cup of heavy whipping cream. Add a half cup of sugar. Followed by a third cup of cocoa powder. Over medium heat on the stove, stir to combine until the sugar and cocoa powder are fully dissolved. In a separate bowl on the side, crack four eggs. Then add four tablespoons of cornstarch. Next, pour in one cup of buttermilk. Whisk the egg and buttermilk mixture together until thoroughly combined. Slowly and gradually pour in the warm chocolate mixture to the egg mix, whisking constantly the entire time. As you are slowly pouring in the warm chocolate while consistently whisking, you are tempering the eggs. Then pour the combined mixture back into the same large saucepan. Over medium-low heat, begin to stir the mixture together until it thickens to a pudding-like consistency and you are vigorously whisking. Next, add two tablespoons of butter to the pudding, followed by two teaspoons of vanilla extract. and whisk to incorporate. Add some red food coloring and continue to whisk until the pudding is bright red. Pour the prepared pudding into the baked and cooled cookie crust. Spread the pudding smooth across the top of the pie. In a clean bowl, pour in a half cup of heavy whipping cream, followed by a half teaspoon of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of sugar. Use a handheld electric mixer to beat the whipped cream until thick and the cream holds stiff peaks. Scoop 
scoop the whipped cream all over the top of the pudding pie and spread the cream smooth across the top. Place the red velvet pudding pie in the fridge to chill and set for at least two hours before serving. We have finished making our red velvet pudding pie. This red velvet pudding pie will be perfect for your Christmas holiday season. I hope you all enjoy it. I'm ready to dive in and cut a slice. If you're interested in my recipe for red velvet pudding pie, you can click the link in the description box below to visit my website, leannoellcooking.com. There you'll find all my recipes written out, photos, videos, and more. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more delicious recipes.